Hello and welcome. Today we are going to discuss about approach, methods and techniques. These are the terms you often get confused and entangled with. You may not be able to differentiate between the terms until and unless you understand the true meaning of these terms in depth. So let's begin with approach. Approach. Approach is a broad term which embraces beliefs, ideologies, perspectives or viewpoints. The Cambridge Dictionary defines the term approach as to come near to or nearer to something or someone in space, time, quality or amount. Thus, approach is coming near to someone or some issue with sets of beliefs or logical assumptions. Here you may wonder what assumptions are. Assumptions are sets of beliefs for which you may or may not have substantial proofs. For example, idealists in the whole world believe that there is God and so do a larger population. But for that we may or we may not have substantial proof. Thus the things that we see far off and we come near to it with some sets of belief or ideologies is an approach. For example, the development of language is studied under psychological approach and the theory given by Vygotsky, Chomsky and Skinner are based on this approach. Similarly in English, we have oral oral approach which gives the students an opportunity to speak and hear the language. This is the way, this is the approach to teach English. And there are several methods inside this particular approach. Similarly, in framing of lesson plan, we have Herbertian approach, Morrison's unit approach, DV and Kilpatrick approach, and RCEM approach, that is Regional College of Education, Mysore's approach. Dear friends, in research also, we have two approaches, qualitative approach and quantitative approach. Through qualitative approach, we seek information in form of statements through interviews. While in quantitative approach, we seek for information in terms of numbers. Now let's discuss about method. Method is planned with orderly procedures. It is always systematic, step by step and based on approach. For example, in teaching of English, we have direct method, Dr. West method, which are based on oral oral approach. Similarly, in science also, we have showing method, demonstration method, excursion method, learning by doing method and several other innovative methods. Now let's discuss about techniques. Techniques are small tricks, activities or exercises that we do within a method. For example, in teaching of English, we use loud reading, silent reading, showing of flashcards and cue cards, dictation and several other techniques. This whole scenario can be understood with the help of an example in which a patient comes to doctor, informs him about his own problems like running nose, temperature, pain, cough, etc. Doctor uses abductive approach. Here you need to understand that Apart from inductive and deductive approach, there is another approach which is called abductive in which with the help of little information, doctor tries to diagnose the problem. He adopts for certain methods or procedures. That is, he will send the sample to laboratories. After the results come and suppose in this case it is COVID-19, then what doctors will do? They will adopt certain techniques to resolve the problems. First thing they will do is they will quarantine the patient. They will provide medicines and if needed the doctor will also encourage, strengthen and counsel the patient not to panic in such a situation. This can also be understood with the help of three concentric rings in which the outermost is approach, the middle ring is method and the innermost is technique. So here friends we have discussed about approach, method and technique. 
they differ from each other in their meanings. Thank you so much for watching this video.